Hi friends, today we are going to talk about what are the different function modules that are getting called in the business partner uh, transaction code for certain things, how you can get those things uh, without debugging or something, okay, very simple. So let me tell you how, how you can do it. First, I'll go to BP transaction. I'm already in BP transaction, but I'll start from scratch. I'll hit the BP transaction, okay. And here you can see this is the BP number, okay. And now, if I want to suppose, uh, I'll go into change mode, okay. And here, I want to see what particular field is being used for this suppose payment block, okay. So what I'm going to do is, I'll click on this, okay. click on this, and here, I'll click on BDT, that's the OK code, BDT analyzer, okay. So you'll hit enter, okay. The moment I hit enter, you see this is the business analyzer thing is for started working, and this will take me to the location where um, it will open a screen where you can find what particular function model it's getting called when you uh, when you're trying to save or something. Okay, so let's see. So it may take some time, but you know it's better than debugging a standard transaction code, which takes forever. Okay, so let's see. It will open up. The circle circling so eventually I hope it will open and this is something that is happening in S4 HANA just to let you know so here you can see it opens up I'll maximize it so here you can see this is the customer general thing you have so I can go to payment transaction go to views uh, where was it alternate pay with probably Field groups. Uh, this is a different fields. I don't remember what was the where was the field. So let me go. Okay, it's not here. Not, not here. Oops, not here. So here, if I go here, I think it would be duration block or something. So let me go here. Views. Text missing. Not this one. Uh, click on this. Text missing. Field groups. Central deletion block. I think that was a payment block field. So, yeah, but anyway, so here you can see the deletion block, and somewhere there would be a payment block. So, probably it was not in the payment transaction. So, here, run RCE, somewhere. So, you will have the payment block. Okay. So probably this one. So, here, if you notice, there are things that you can see. There will be a function module and all those things. So, here you can see this is the field name. Um, this is the function module name and in some cases they might not be information and in some cases there will be information okay so generally if I go to general data and if I go to the views authorization group and if I click on the field groups here you can see different fields have this function module name. so based on this if I click on this and I put a debug point it will stop okay so this is this is very very useful because this uh, this uh, DP screen is completely um, object oriented, and the object oriented portion is a little difficult, and ha it has a lot of dynamic calls. So the dynamic calls makes it a little difficult to debug. Okay, so uh, so that that's that's one suggestion. So use this BDT analyzer, and suppose and from there, so suppose if I click on this, suppose I click on this, and here. Basically, it takes me to a function model, and here you can put a breakpoint and you can start your business. Okay, so this is very, very useful. So that's it. Stay tuned to my SAP channel and happy SAP learning. And if you like, share and subscribe to it and have a good day.